March 5, 1770, Boston's occupied by two regiments of British troops. On the night of March 5th, a mob gathers in front of Faneuil Hall to go try to oust the British from their barracks up the street. Here in front of the old state house, there's a sentry standing in front of the customs house. A group of apprentices start attacking him. Someone goes and alerts the main guard as this mob is growing around this poor sentry, Private U. White. The mob is growing. Someone alerts Captain Thomas Preston, who marches down the street with eight soldiers, and they find themselves penned in in front of the customs house. The mob is growing. Someone's ringing the church bells, which is a signal for fire. The crowd's coming out asking, where's the fire? People are yelling at the soldiers, why don't you fire? You don't dare fire. And someone throws a piece of wood through the air. It hits Private Montgomery in the head. He stumbles, he gets up, and he says, God damn you, I will fire. And he does. The other soldiers think they've been ordered to fire. Captain Preston yells, why did you fire? What they hear is fire. What we know is five people are dead. About a dozen, half a dozen are wounded. The town becomes very eerily quiet after this. And Governor Thomas Hutchinson comes on the scene. He actually goes to the balcony of the old state house and tells the people to go to their homes. He says the law will have its course. I will live and die by the law. Now what we know for certain is two stories emerge from this. And one, the British are bloodthirsty killers who will shoot down unarmed civilians in the street. And the other, the British were under attack by a mob. Both of these stories are going to be fleshed out in a trial later that year in which the soldiers will be acquitted. The soldiers are acquitted, but in the public mind, Paul Revere, Samuel Adams call this the bloody massacre, the horrid massacre. And this is what happens when you have armed troops trying to keep peace in a peaceful town. Benjamin Franklin had said sending troops to keep the peace in Boston was like setting up a blacksmith's forge in a gunpowder magazine. John Adams said that the troops are going to cause two riots for every one they put down. What we know is this is the signal event that is then going to bring on the American Revolution.